new, 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 Okay. Okay. Uh, this is a bracket for uh, the Leap Motion 2 um, uh, sensor that we uh, put in the store a couple weeks ago. If you want to mount it to something, looks like it's like 3D printed maybe. Uh, this allows you to mount it to like your head so you can make it into like a VR goggles type thing, um, to your robot, what have you. It's just like a handy little uh, clippy adapter um, to take your uh, 3D um, sensor and uh, make it portable. Okay, next up. Next up. Uh, these look a lot like our FSRs that we've been stocking for a long time, and they, they are kind of the same as the FSRs we've been stocking for a long time. These round force sensitive resistors can detect pressure when you press the round part at the top. It's a uh, force sensitive resistor. So the more you press it, uh, the lower the resistance is. Normally, there was, it's open, like there's no connection between the two contacts. Uh, you press it and uh, the resistance goes down, down, down. So you can use it to detect force. And the FSR that we've already stopped is up to, is like basically 0.1 to 10 newtons of force. And this one is 10 to 100 newtons. So it's 10 times less sensitive. So it's good for when you have high pressures. Like some people are using the other FSRs for um, detecting when people were walking, but you couldn't, you know, the force of, that somebody, uh, exerts with their heel when they walk was so high that it was kind of like blowing out the range of the other sensor. This one has 10 times as much range. It's not good for detecting soft presses, but very good for detecting stomps. Um, but it looks the same and works the same. You kick it up as a resistor divider and then feed it into an analog digital converter to read the resistance. Next up. Uh, next up, we have a revision for the RA8875. Uh, people have been asking for uh, like almost a decade to, hey, can you please put a tri-state buffer on the output pin because that you can't share it with an, uh, other I screw, other SPI devices on the same bus. Um, we finally had to revise this board uh, for other reasons. The backlight driver chip got discontinued. And we're like, oh yeah, let's also update it. So um, what's cool about this chip is that it can do SPI to a 800 by 480 max TTL display. These displays are usually very hard to drive from microcontroller. You know, we were showing some off the ESP32 S3 is a, a rare micro that can actually drive those displays. Normally you need a microcomputer like a Raspberry Pi to do it. Um, but this way you can do it from a microcontroller. Um, it's not cheap, but uh, it has like built in font and built in shape. Creation, we've got Arduino and CircuitPython drivers for it. Um, and now uh, you know, it's been updated with this new backlight driver and uh, the SPI port can now be shared. Basically the same price, basic same functionality, um, electrical and mechanical, uh, just a little bit better and also an Adafruit Black. All right, the start of shifts and episode two, Lady Ada, our team, our customers, our community is... Dun, dun, dun. It's the iSpy Beret for Raspberry Pi. Uh, we had this in the shop and we finally finished the tester jig. So if you want to add a uh, quick plug and play hardware to a Raspberry Pi, I, I actually made this mostly so I could test and debug mm. displays and you know e-inks and TFTs and stem IQT connectors with a couple buttons. But I was like, oh yeah, it can be handy. It's very slim. Doesn't take up a lot of space. We'll work with any Raspberry Pi with a 2x20 connector. So your Pi 3, 2, uh, 0, whatever, your I.O. board with the uh, CM4 module. And it's got a couple of things. It's got two tactile buttons and one switch. So just good for like you want to have a little bit of physical interface. There's also a STEM IQT connector on the left that connects to the I2C port. So you can plug and play all of our sensors very easily. So you add accelerometers or some OLEDs if you want, or um, you know, light sensors, temperature, motion, all that good stuff. Just plug and play a cable on. And then the iSpy connector in the middle is for connecting our displays. So many of our displays now have an iSpy port on them, which means you can use a cable, much like STEM IQT, but it's got a lot more pins so you can connect um, a display. So I've got a demo I can show off. This is um, you know my Raspberry Pi 4 and then I've got the iSpy board. This is you know green because I keep the prototypes for myself and this is one of our displays. If you look for the iSpy logo on the back you know that you can use one of these plug cables. 
Uh, and then these cables come in various lengths and then, you know, there's no soldering, there's no difficult wiring. You just plug it in here, plug it in there. And then, you know, this is a little GIF player demo we have um, that's written in uh, Python. So this is thematic. It's Python. Yeah, I made that on 4th of July. <laughs> yeah, I made it on 4th of July. I was like, you know what? But like, so, yeah, whatever. Not too bad. Like, may, like, that was the demo and now it's uh, about a month later. Yeah, yeah about a month that's later. So from, from, from one month of, you know, doing that demo to it's in the shop. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know very very useful for you want to connect different displays so good for any of our spi displays up to 240 by 320 but also many of the ink displays our e ink displays have this connector as well so uh also if you just happen to want um to bring those pins out and then connect them to some other device for some reason we have a breakout for this cable so you can have it onto the breakout and then have the gpio far away so this is just makes for very tidy wiring much nicer um you also of course have the kernel console show up here if you wanted like a um, terminal display or you wanted x to display on it very low resolution but you could do it um you know a lot of people want to use our displays but not necessarily have them mounted directly on the raspberry pi they want them elsewhere and this um, makes it very easy to do so so you just mount it wherever you like and that is new products for this week new, 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 new.